editing process is where your story comes to life. So the more tools you have available at your fingertips, the greater your power to shape your video exactly how you envision. LumaFusion's new Creator Pass unlocks a range of enhanced features you can use today to take your storytelling to the next level. Now, if you're not sure whether these features are for you or indeed what they actually do, keep watching today as we run through the workings of each one individually, improving a ready-made LumaFusion project step by step. So here we have a Q&A video with LumaTouch's co-founders, Chris and Terry. We've got a main title at the beginning, followed by the interview, which as you can see, uses three cameras and a separate audio recording. This has been layered with some B-roll of the LumaTouch team hard at work. And I've put an end graphic at the end of the timeline to round the video off nicely. The edit, I hope you'll agree, works well and looks neat in the preview but I think there's certainly some room in here for what I'm gonna call creative improvement. So let's dive in and focus on different areas here and see how we can improve them from an editing standpoint with features in the Creator Pass. First up, the interview. There are four pieces of media involved here, three videos and one audio clip. To achieve this edit without Multicam Studio, I had to manually line the clips up from each of the three cameras on the timeline, making sure it was a perfect sync down to the frame, and then add in the main audio file to match before muting the video tracks and making cuts to the clips in order to switch between camera angles. It was, as you can see, very doable, but achieving this edit on the timeline was fiddly and time consuming, and frankly, not easy to adjust should I want to alter the switching between camera angles. With that in mind, we can make our first creative improvement to our project here by embracing the power of Multicam Studio, a tool available for iOS editors within LumaFusion that automatically syncs our chosen clips in a matter of seconds. The syncing process is accurate, fast, and most importantly, lets us focus on the creative decisions we need to make instead of the technical ones. As you can see here, switching between angles is now a breeze and the multicam shoot is only taking up one video layer on the timeline as opposed to three. Let's add our B-roll back to the edit now and see how our project is looking with that. The shots work well together, adding context to the Q&A below and play out neatly in the preview here. However, I want this edit to feel lively and exciting and the pace of these shots when I watch them back is all just a bit well, samey. Can you see here they're all playing back at a linear speed, which would suit perhaps a news package or documentary. But here in this example, I think we need to keep the energy high in this video. So let's add some speed ramping to the clips. With speed ramping in LumaFusion Speed and Reverse Editor, you can use keyframes to change the speed of a clip's playback over time. So for example, slowing down the speed of your video to emphasize a key moment in a shot before speeding up for a more dramatic on-screen effect. Changing the speed of a video enables me to use all the footage in the chosen clip, yet add a lot more energy and style to the visuals. Now it's important to see that the changes I make here to the speed using keyframes and the speed slider are demonstrated in the ease editor on the speed ease graph. Easing is how we control the rate of change between keyframes, giving our edits a more natural feel as the speed accelerates or decelerates between keyframes. Without me actually doing anything here, automatic easing is placed between our speed ramps, but I can alter the easing going into or out of a keyframe as I like, using these sliders at the bottom of the interface. Now that I've applied speed ramping and easing to a select few of the B-roll clips, let's have a look now at how much more excitement we've injected into the timeline. As we've taken a look at the Ease Editor now, let's add our graphics back onto the timeline and see how we can make those look a little bit more professional. You see, easing is not just for speed ramping, it's a key feature within LumaFusion's new updates and can be used to control the rate of change between any value differences between keyframes in the six clip editors. Take the animation of the lower third graphics here, for example, where in the frame and fit editor, I have this title arriving on screen from left to right. Without easing, as it is at the moment, the graphic just stops suddenly when it lands at the second keyframe. 
However, as easing allows me to gradually affect the rate of change over time, so in this case the movement as the graphic is travelling from left to right, I can open the ease editor and use these handles to control the easing going into and out of the two keyframes, making the graphic take off and land its journey softly, looking a lot more natural and professional. You can see this ultimately gives me more control over the look and feel of the content when I can control its rate of change, in this case its movement across the screen. Taking our animation a step further now as we add our main titles back in at either end of the timeline, we can see that the trajectory of all the movements of our media in this project are all in straight lines. Now this is fine and looks very professional in the example we just saw, but it can be a bit restrictive if you want to create an animation that's free flowing and moving about your page with ease. Let's look at this graphic here at the end of the video as an example. The circular graphics representing the enhanced features in the creator pass here are moving from point A to point B in a single direction. However, we can make one of our creative improvements here because as part of the creator pass, we can now unlock enhanced keyframing. With that comes access to the path editor, which enables us to embrace the power of Bezier curves in our editing, creating beautifully curved animations. Using these handles, which will appear on a keyframed clip when the path editor is selected in the frame and fit editor, I can make the end graphic swoop gracefully into shot, following a curve of my choice. What's more, when I add easing into this animation, I can choose to make the movement of these graphics more dramatic or subtle, depending on the look I'm going for. The easing placed on Eclipse Path is represented by these dots, which show how far the graphic is moving between frames. The wider the dots are apart, the faster the rate of change. See now how a very rigid animation has been transformed to a more fluid and creative one with access to the path editor. You can also make use of the path editor when you've added effects with a center point, like here in the opening titles, where this layer has the whole effect applied so we can see the layer underneath. By adding keyframes here, moving the center left to right, I can not only create a moving path for the effect, but now with enhanced keyframing, I can make that path curved and take full control over the direction it takes across the screen. See how that swoop draws your eye? It's all about adding flow and finesse to the timeline. Now, talking about flow of the timeline, let's look to Storyblocks, where we need to add a bit of atmosphere and musical energy to this project. In Storyblocks, and as part of the Creator Pass, you'll get access to thousands of videos, backgrounds, sound effects, and pieces of music to add to your edits, without needing to surf the web for affordable and appropriate content. So I'm going to search Storyblocks now in the media library and add some music of my choice to this timeline that matches the energetic mood we're going for in the edit. And let's layer this below and alter the volume to play gently in the background. So, so far we've improved the syncing and switching of our multicam edit, the pacing of our clips through speed ramping, the animation of our graphics and effects with the path editor and easing, and we've added music to the project to enhance the tone and feel with Storyblocks. But we do have one more enhanced feature we can use as part of the Creator Pass to help us in our editing workflows, especially if we like to mix our mobile editing with the use of a desktop computer. With LumaFusion's XML export, we can now import our projects into Final Cut Pro to make any finishing touches. It's as easy as exporting the project and opening it up in Final Cut Pro to continue where we've left off. So there you have it. The Creator Pass is now live and available for you to get your hands on today. Be sure to tag us on social media to share your work. And as always, please do drop us any comments or questions down below. For more tutorials on any of these features, please do check out our YouTube channel where you'll find everything from deep dives to fun, creative tips and tricks. We'll see you soon.